So today we're going to do bangs and mash. Um, this is especially for two very good friends of mine back home in Ireland. I made this for them in Edinburgh about two years ago and ever since they've been asking me to show them how to make it. So here it is. Um, put all the preconceptions of bangers and mash out of your head because there's no reason why it can't be more of a gourmet dish. And I'm going to show you how to inject a bit of um, something a bit different and unusual into it. So we're going to the sweet potatoes that we bought. That's what we're going to use instead of normal potatoes. And think about it. You can use any root vegetable. You could use a mixture of turnip, potatoes, carrots. You could roast them and then mash them. And just you're just injecting flavour like at different stages along the line. So just kind of think about how think outside the box about how you could do things a bit differently. So two sweet potatoes and I've peeled mine, chopped them, and they've boiled off so they're ready just to be mashed and we're going to slice up some basil and put that through the sweet potatoes which would be really nice. Red onions, for the red onion gravy we're going to put a little bit of very lazy garlic and this is where our port comes into play so we're going to use three quarters of a cup or a mug of port and what else, uh, half a beef stock cube to intensify the flavour of the sausages. Um, we're going to use some mange too as well and this is just going to show you what, how to make the gravy as flavoursome as possible. So basically you've got your sausages and they've already been fried off. So fry them off for a couple of minutes to brown all the edges in um, a saucepan. Okay, and then in that same saucepan, so get that on your heat. So in that same saucepan you're going to fry off your onions. Okay, so put your onions in there. And about a teaspoon of very lazy garlic, okay? And give that a nice stir. And you're gonna see the onions will take on the colour that and all the kind of lovely crispy bits that the sausages have left behind in the frying pan, and it will just give them that extra bit of flavour, okay? So you're gonna fry them off for on a high heat until they're kind of softened and a bit translucent, okay? And basically what we're going to do is, I've got this pan here is one that I've been doing beforehand because what you need to do with the port, um, you need to reduce it and what you're going to do is pour your port onto your um, onion mixture, okay? So you've got your port, pour that into the pan with your onions and your garlic, get your stock cube, that goes in there as well, so mix that all up, like so, and add to this a splash of water, just to kind of dilute the intensity of the flavour, because when you reduce, when you reduce liquids you're intensifying the flavour all the time, so with port it will become quite strong, so just a little bit of water through there is just will balance it out a bit. Okay, so that's basically that's the basis of your gravy. So keep when you're flat frying your onions, just keep going at them until they're really nice and soft. Um, and they've kind of lost their really like their whiteness and they're really astringent red. Okay, so just it takes about five minutes, a bit longer than what I've left them on, but I've got this one here all ready to go. So that's the basis of your gravy, and then what you do with your sausages, how to finish them off. So you get your sausages and you put them into the gravy, cover them completely and reduce this right down until you have like a gravy consistency. So what you're effectively doing with the sausages is braising them and to braise something is to cook it slowly in liquid and it's really good for tough meats like um, pork belly and things like that, it gives them a real tenderness by cooking them this way um, but what you're doing at the sausages is you're kind of drawing out loads of flavour into the gravy and you're adding loads of flavour to the sausages so you end up with something really really gorgeous and it's just a nicer way of doing it and plus it's a homemade gravy so you're not using like the store or something like that it's all from scratch which just gives it that bit it's just nicer so much nicer okay so that will take when you're doing it, because I've already done a bit of preparation on this before, it will take about 10 minutes, so get it up on a really high heat until it's, the sauce is kind of bubbling and you'll start to see it reduce gradually. 
um, and make sure your sausages are covered when they go in first, that there's enough liquid to cover them so that they cook gradually, okay? So I'm just going to add some of this in here. Okay. So that's your gravy on the go. And it's literally, it's that easy. It's so simple. It's just about two or three little steps, bring them all together and then leave them for about five or ten minutes and that's going to basically be your dish, okay? So with your sweet potatoes, let's get them strained. The really nice thing about sweet potatoes is as well, they cook a lot quicker um, than normal potatoes. So just dice them up nice and finely and they become quite soft quite quickly, so they're really good for mashing. And it just saves you a little bit of time in the evening if you're wanting to... Um, if you're coming home cooking, so that you're not spending a really long time. And plus it's just something a bit different. Okay, so let's see if I can show you this. I don't know, you probably can't see that, it's quite dark. So, you see your sausages in there and all the onions and it takes on this like amazing, really dark burgundy purple colour which will look gorgeous when we serve it off. Okay, so, let's mash these up. So you can use, it's up to you, I'm going to use just a drizzle of, drizzle of olive oil on them, a bit of salt. I'm going to go easy on the pepper on this one because I just want the flavour of the onion and the pork to be really clean and really fresh. Um, so just salt to marry all the flavours together. So get that all mashed up. And the nice thing about sweet potatoes is they're this amazing orange colour. It's so, so nice. So that's basically, that's your mash done and what we're going to do is to give it a bit of colour and another bit of flavour we're going to get, we've got basil in the fridge this week so we're going to get three or four nice big leaves and we're going to slice, slice them up roughly, no need to be too delicate about these things, I like things that are a bit rough and ready and get them through and just the two flavours go really nicely together. So that's your mash, pretty much done, I'll show you this, so see, that gorgeous kind of orange colour and then you've got the green going through, so really nice. And then, these are cooking away really nicely, you'll see it start to bubble and the bubbles will kind of get a bit thicker and a bit more syrupy and that's when your gravy is coming together really nicely. So we're going to use a bit of mange too, because we've got mange too in the fridge. And um, basically, mange stew is really nice, just raw, but when you're serving it in a meal, all you need to do is heat it through. That's all you just want. You want it to stay really crunchy and keep its sweetness and its colour. So all you're going to do is about a tablespoon of olive oil in a frying pan. Get some heat on. allow that to heat through and these are the ones that are mange too so you've got sugar snap peas and you've got mange too and these the mange too are the flatter ones whereas the sugar snap peas are the kind of chunkier chubbier ones um, so that's how you tell the difference well that's how I tell the difference anyway um, so we're going to use about I don't know 10 of those depending on how many you want so this is all this is for one person so if you want to do it for more than one person just double the ingredients simple just use four sausages um, we have four sausages in the fridge this week, but I'm going to use them later on in the week for something a bit different. Um, okay, so that's coming together really nicely. And get our mange too in a pan. Dress it nicely with the olive oil and allow that to heat through, okay? So that's it, that's your bangers and mash all coming together really nicely. And all of a sudden you've got this really colourful, flavoursome dish. And it's just, it's so worth um, having a few different bottles of alcohol in your cooking cupboards. Stay away from them for drinking, keep them for cooking. Just buy the cheaper stuff, there's no need to spend any kind of extravagant money on them. My bottle of port cost, I think it was 5 49 for a 75 CL bottle, so it was this one. Um, <clears throat> and they just add such a depth of flavour to so many different dishes and they're a really good thing to have on standby, especially port. So that will go a long way over the next few. Okay, so time to fit up. Plate. You'll hear that crackling, that's your mom's too. 
I'm going to just take on a tiny little bit of colour and that's it. Literally one minute is all you need for them, okay? So there we go. Pretty much ready to serve up. So let's start off with some of our sweet potato mash. A nice serving of that, okay? And then let's go with some mulch too. Down on the side. See how gorgeous those colours are. Okay, so just layer them on the side. And then time to go with your sausages. So get them off the heat. And we're just going to lay two sausages on top of mash. So use whatever sausages are your favourite. I've used Cumberland sausages but it's completely up to you. There's no set rule. Whatever you prefer. So this is quite a substantial meal. Okay so that's your two sausages. And then time to go with your gravy. So by now the onions will have sweetened loads. So you've got mm, lots of nice onions. Okay. So they're just going to get spooned on top and then get a spoon of your gravy and pour that all over. And that's a fine as a mash dish done in a fancy way, well kind of fancy. Sprig of basil on top for a bit of colour and that's it. That is your buying as a mash. So try it, it's so good. Such a nice dish to do and like that, that's 12 minutes that this video has been on for. So that's pretty much you, that's all it's going to take. So give it a go and enjoy. <laughs>